What's up, Fish community? Welcome back to another World Tanks console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the T34 100 Ragnar Rock. So, this is one of the three premium tanks that just came out today and are only available for today, tomorrow, and Sunday only. So, you have three days to buy these tanks. And I'm going to be doing three tank reviews today on all three. I already did a one on the Hydra IS6. Then I gotta do this one, then the Minotaur KV-5. So I'm gonna be comparing the T-34-100 Ragnarok compared to the TVP VTU. So the VTU is on the right side and the T-34-100 is on the left side for the engine. So immediately you can see the horsepower difference on the T-34, um, the TVP is greater at 700 horsepower, which Gives it a greater power to ratio at 19.21, 19.21, which is good, and the power ratio on the T34-100 is still good too. The T34-100 is faster at 54 kilometers. Both tanks go 20 backwards, which is good, and fire chance for both tanks is 15 percent. All right, now we're going to compare two guns. So the TV, TVP. VTU has three competitive guns, the 88, the 100, and the 105. So I picked the 105. And the Ragnarok's on the left, TVP's on the right. And so the reload time is on the T-34-100 uh, is 30 seconds compared to the 11 seconds that the TVP has because the T-34 is an on alert, which gets a three-shot clip its aim time is a 2.3, which is better than the TVP's. Accuracy is better. Standard accuracy, just regular accuracy at 100 meters, is 0.38, which is 0.2 better than the TVP. The TVP has better accuracy on the move and better accuracy while turning the turret. Both guns fire the same distance. Both guns have the same elevation at 20 degrees a second. I have a 20 degree elevation at 20 degrees. TVP has 6 degrees of gun depression. Max gun depression on the T-34 has 8, which is good. Shots per clip on the T-34-100 is 3, and her clip reload is a 1.8. And both guns do 320 alpha damage. So you're doing the same damage on both guns. So no matter what you do. Yeah. All right, now we move on to the tracks. The TVP T40 is on the bottom and the Ragnarok is on the top. So rotation speed on the Ragnarok is four degrees a second, which is four degrees a second lower than the TVP. And the grain Terrain resistance is, is worse than the TVP, if I'm reading the number right. I believe that the number the number is higher, the more terrain resistance you have. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Don't quote me on that. I just know how that works, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so while I'm going over the turret and the concealment and spawning, I'm just going to be like, here you go and compare it to the next thing. Okay, so the t 34 100s rotation speed is 36 degrees a second, which is also has a V-range of 390 meters, and the signal range is 850 meters, and the moving consumer is 0.18%, and stationary is 0.24. The only thing that the T-34... Yeah, Okay, next tank, TVP VTU, 42 degrees a second on turret rotation, which is faster than the 36 degrees on the T-34. Max view range is 380 meters, same on the T-34-100. Signal range is 850 meters, same on the T-34. Moving is 0.16, which is 0.2 less than the T-34-100 and 0.22 while stationary on the concealment is 0.4 less than the T-34-100, I think. Alright, now we move on to the ammo. So, 
so the T-34 is on the left and the TVP is on the right. Like I said earlier, they both do the same amount of damage. Alpha damage on both guns is 320 for its standard to premium and high explosive pit damage is 420. But here's where it changes. The standard ammunition on the T-34-100 does 205mm of penetration, premium does 240 and high explosive does 50. And the penetration on the TVP on the standard is 185, premium is 235, and high explosive pin is 53. The T-34-100 has a DPM of 1,712. The TVP 50, TVP VTU with a 105 gun has a DPM of 1,744. Remember, you can pick three guns: the 100 mil, 88, and a 105. I just picked a 105 because I like the 105. All right, now we're moving on to the armor. So the T34 100 doesn't really have armor. The highest armor it has is 100 millimeters and that's right before you get the gun it's metal at 60 millimeters and all around the tank it's 45 millimeters maybe a little of extra armor in the front of the tank and the t34 100 actually gets 1420 hit points so yeah not armor all right now we move on to the tvp vtu it doesn't get a lot of armor either. Highest point is 65 millimeters at the front. And 30 at the back and 20 at the rear. It's... Nah. It has a hit points of 1,450. So basically what I'm trying to get at that no matter what tank you pick, you have no armor. So don't expect your armor to be miracle armor. You may pull off some shots, but... Not very likely. Alright, that's enough with stats. Now let's just get into some gameplay. Alright, so this match is actually my very first game in the T-34-100 Ragnarok. We, are, we earned ourselves a top tier spot on Murfka. And we're going to go right. Because I want to go right. Go flank around. Go use my speed. Pop in. Put sh three shots in. Pop out and reload and do it again basically how you do it with the scout and t25 these tvp 5051 and the scout and t50 basically this is a premium tank just like those three tanks this is a perfect premium tank for the check unlike the scout and t40 this is a this is what the check auto letters are all about quick bursty damage Get in, do your quick bursty damage, then get out. That's one shot, that's two, and that's three. And it's 100 millimeters actually at like a 105 or a 107. What does that mean? Their 100 millimeters actually have really good alpha. So yeah. I poked out, put a shot into the Pantera. I missed. Two shots into Pandera, and they penetrated. Reload. And now I'm back into the fight. Put all three shots. If I can hit things, that was a miss. Killed him, and put another shot in the Pantera. Take out his engine. Run away. Reload. This basically the T-34-100. It's basically all the Czech auto letters. That's how they roll. You got good signal range. Good bursty damage, and they all do the same damage. They all have this 100 millimeter. Especially the tier 9, the tier 10. The tier 6 has a 75 millimeter, but it acts the same way. And people love the tier 6. It's basically how this tank plays, the tier 9, and the tier 10 plays. The check on the letters are really, really nice. They have no armor to speak of, but they have. They're all about the gun. They're all about the gun, mobility, and rearrange. That's what they are about. 
most of the time they can't penetrate. But their penetration you can work with. The penetration makes you learn weak points. It makes you flank your targets and hit them in the side. Hit, hit them in the rear. Hit them while they're distracted and focused on your heavier target. Heavier teammates. That's what the check auto letters are all about. And it's a fun playstyle. Use your speed, auto letter, burst damage. Boom. Now they usually have pretty good accuracy. So sometimes you can snap at long range. So just ignore this. This two shots missed. As a third shot missed. That was a horrible clip. Remember, this is my very first game in this tank, and I am loving it. Two spot assists right there. And also remember, this tank also has a 75% bonus. Very first game, and I have a silver boost activated. I'm loading a high explosive clip for that chassis, because I want to take out the chassis out and just a clip. Also, all three of these premium tanks, the elite premium tanks, they have came out today and they're only available for three days. They have a 75% silver bonus and you should keep all your silver bonuses for this for these tanks. There's an email right there. There's Saucy. There's one 388. There's 407 and that was a lower roll. Didn't penetrate that shot. At 88 damage. We're gonna reload for another clip. Nope. That's basically the game. We did 3,754 damage, two kills, 13 penetrations, 765 assists, two tracks, five criticals, and we actually spotted somebody. And we got a victory out of the very first match. And we made 346,000 silver in our first mastery batch and made 15,000 for XP. I mean 15,000 XP because of the times 5 XP boost. Alright guys, if you liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to swipe fish because we're always done. And peace out. See ya.